Okay, how do I start it again? It's starting. Okay. <laughs> I've been roaming around, always looking down, and all I see are painted faces, fill the places I can't reach. You know that I could use somebody. You know that I could use somebody Someone like you and all you know and how you speak Countless lovers undercover of the street You know that I could use somebody that I could use somebody Someone like you covers on Sunset Media Way's blog and my column name is The Never Ending Playlist That Is My Life. I never really introduced myself to you. I never told you what I liked or my interests or who I was. So here we go. I'm Elizabeth. I'm 14 years old. I live in San Francisco and I love music. It is pretty much my life. I revolve around it. I can play guitar, ukulele, bass, French horn, and I like black and green. I really like to draw. I guess it all started when I was really little. I was exposed to older rock, oldies rock. So the Beatles, Mott the Hoople, The Who, Led Zeppelin, stuff like that. And I thought it was really good. That was what I grew up on. I didn't really know anything else. And uh, people would be like, so what's your favorite song? And I'd tell them like, I don't know, some Zeppelin song. They'd be like, what? Not I never really listened to pop music until third grade when they had it on the radio and the first song that I had heard was probably a Black Eyed Peas song and I was like, what is this? Like, it was weird. I never really, like, paid attention to it very much and I really got into it and a couple years have passed and I really fell in love with One Direction. I think the reason why is because there were just five boys and they just happened to be in the right place at the right time, and they all got put together in a group. They didn't win the show that they were on, but people stuck with them, and they loved them, and they got really big, and I thought that was so cool, because it just looked like something that'd be really fun, and I never really wanted to do that with my life until I fell in love with Pierce the after I ended that era with One Direction, which wasn't too long ago. Um, Pierce the Veil kind of just 
it pierced the veil. It got right to the point. It cut off all the the bad things. And I realized that I didn't want to be a teacher. I didn't want to be a vet. I didn't want to be a firefighter. I wanted to make music and I wanted to play and I wanted to sing my heart out and I wanted to travel around the world and I wanted to meet everybody and I wanted to save somebody's life. That is what I want to do with my life. And I'm pretty sure that's going to stick with me for a really, really long time. I come from a very musical family and I think that is just put more opportunities out there for me. Like I can practice some songs and go out and do some open mics in, here in San Francisco because there's so many places to do that and the opportunities are probably endless. I'm starting a band with one of my friends and I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I do covers, but at the same time I write my own music and I it just gives me a way to explain myself. I might be having problems or I don't understand something or I just get really frustrated or overwhelmed and I need to sit down and bring out my guitar or some form of instrument and just make music and write lyrics and just have it pertain to that one thing. And I feel like it really expresses myself because I can't pierce the veil. I can't go up to the point right to where it's bad and cut it off. I can't do that. I have to write a song about it or cry about it for a while and then I can go and fix it. A lot of people that I look up to, a lot of the bands that inspire me are Pierce the Veil, 21 Pilots, Of Mice and Men, Bring Me the Horizon, Black Veil Brides, Five Seconds of Summer, all of those bands. And they, they just understand. I don't know if you understand that, but they just understand me and everything that happens and I feel like their songs are written in a way where I didn't think that I would be able to explain it, but their words are perfect. I spend a lot of my free time doing music. I take some vocal lessons on the side of everything else that happens in my life, and I feel like it's really helped me. I can sing higher than I could. I like to have fun. Overall, fun is probably the thing. I don't want to be stuck behind a desk doing something I don't want to be doing, and I don't know what I would do without music. If it just makes me feel warm and that someone gets me, and I think that's beautiful because sometimes there are just things that happen. People are like, I don't understand what you're going through, so I can't help you. I can't, I can't, if you don't explain to me what it is, I don't know what I need to do for you. And so music helps. If you, like, if you listen to the music that I listen to, you can probably tell a lot more about me than I actually tell you. Yeah, you know a lot about me now. I like to do things like balance my phone on my head. Oh, it's all over my fingers already. <sighs> what was I talking about? Yeah, I like to draw myself, that's it. So I thought a good way to end this video was to draw myself and I'm starting to think that it wasn't a very good idea, but um, I think of it if I just make myself as skeleton as I can. I hope you enjoyed this. Please go listen to my stuff. I love you so much. Goodbye.